हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ इज परमिंदर सिंह फ्रॉम प्रभ कृपा क्लासेस अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन पार्ट टू एज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट इन द केस ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन देर इज ए वर्ड लीनियर द वर्ड लीनियर मीन्स दैट वेन द इक्वेशन इज ड्रॉन ऑन द ग्राफ इट फॉर्म्स ए स्ट्रेट लाइन the equation means that the right hand side and the left hand side are equal in part 1 we have solved these questions these six questions have already been solved in our part 1 now after going this course you will understand that any equation which can be put in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a b c are real numbers and a and b are not both zero is called a linear equation in two variables it is to be noted here that the power of the two variables that is x and y in the equation is 1 the number multiplied to the variable that is in this case a and b is called coefficient and c is constant the geometrical representation of a linear equation in two variables is a straight line that is the equation can be in this form straight line or it can be in this way or it can be in this way or it can be in this way but the equation will be always in a straight line the solution of the linear equation is not affected when the both sides of the equation are multiplied added subtracted by the same number that is if this equation is say x plus y is equal to 5 if we add 5 on both sides or if we divide both sides by 5 or if we deduct 5 from both sides or if we multiply 5 on both sides it will have no effect on the linear equation we here give an example of a linear equation x plus y is equal to 8 here if this equation is given is y is equal to 8 it is a linear equation one variable and it can be graphically represented in this form 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight so it is the graphical representation of a linear equation in one variable but this is the linear equation in two variables where this is the one variable this is the another variable when we are to form the when we are to draw or to make the geometrical representation of the equation we have to find two solutions in this case we can consider it as 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 or 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 or 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 or 10 minus 3 is equal 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 so all these can be the possible solutions and on the basis of any of two these solutions we can form the graph let us have an overview of the same so that we can form this is only for ready reference if, if we take 4 plus 4 this is the 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 1 2 3 this is the x axis this is y axis this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 when you will solve the questions in this course further you will have a clear view of the same here it is 4 plus 4 here that is it will come here that is the first point will be here you can take any other 6 plus 2 that is the value of c is a value of x is 6 so here it is 6 the another is value of y is 2 that is the another point is 2 here you can join both these two points it will be in the form of a straight line it can be also possible that another equation may also be given in the question say 
x plus y is equal to 13. In the same way, you will have to find out the solutions. It may be 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. Then again, you will have to form the graph on the basis of the same. That is 7. This is the 7. This is the x. This is 7. This is the 6. 6 may be somewhat like here. This is 7, 5, 6, this is 7, 7, here it becomes 5, it is 6. So, first point will be here, another will be 5, 8, 5, you can take it otherwise, 8 plus, you can take it 7 plus 6, you can take it 6 plus 7, because otherwise it will be out of our range, 6 plus 7, here it is 6. 7 will be here it will be again out of our range however we will try to same here it will be somewhat here here it is 6 it is 7 you can join both these two points course here we are going to do in this chapter we are going to solve the linear equation in which are where there are two pairs of equations and in this way when there will be two equations you will have to find out the two solutions that is two points this point this point this point and this point you will have to find out the two solutions and you will have to draw the graph accordingly i hope you might have understood what we are how we are going to solve this these questions thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course